We're at the Elevate's global premiere and with us today is the Honda president and CEO of Honda Cars India, Takuya Sumura-san. Yeah. Thank you so much for yeah, speaking to us. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Uh, so congratulations on the unveil. And I think my first question to you is you're back into the SUV game. Yeah. Uh, you know, you all were there with the CRV and the BRV. You're yeah. back in. What is your expectation now for, for the sales volume and for the company? Yeah, so then uh, now we are having Amaze and City and City EHEB, mm -hmm. and we are participating in the Sedam market, which is 10% in, in India. But uh, now SUV is more than 40% and even growing year by year. So we are participating in this market with Elevate. So we are expecting certain volumes to come. Uh, and the ma after launch, we are expecting to ramp up our production number as well, and we would like to uh, have certain numbers in the SUV market. Okay, so you're saying certain numbers. Uh, can I press you for what? What is your expectation, <laughs> ma? For uh, I don't go too much in detail, but uh, uh, from October to March, second half of fiscal year, compared to last fiscal year, we would like to grow around uh, 35%, that's our target. Okay. Including and all the all the models. Your entire portfolio, mm -hmm. right. And uh, Sumura-san, you know, coming to the Elevate, since it's all about the Elevate today, uh, you'll have unveiled what is the petrol-powered version. We know this platform also has a hybrid and you spoke of uh, the BEV that's also on your radar. Mm -hmm. uh, will we see the hybrid uh, and then followed by the BEV or are you not going to do a hybrid? So this time with this model, we are uh, concentrated on BV. So based on uh, this elevate, we will uh, now developing BV and we will launch within three years. That's our plan. Right. And uh, in terms of your plan also for the future, Honda has a very good brand equity in India. Uh, you know, people uh, in India love Honda and I, I, I think that's a te testament to, to the city's success, for example. You're now moving away from or rather moving into SUVs. Mm -hmm. Will we see a focus on sedans continue or is it going to switch tracks to SUVs? No, no, no. We will definitely uh, continue the uh, sedan because the uh, even 10% of the market share. But uh, we are selling both Amazon and City with a very high share in that market. And the, our customer is waiting in that area. So we will continue. Uh, the City we are doing this year 26 years. Amaze also 10 years. And we have big uh, customer pool with the loyal customer with those customers. We, we try to continue with this customer with the, uh, the fresh up of the new model or something like that. Okay. And, uh, you know, so uh, sedans, obviously, as you said, you're going to focus on. But what can we expect in terms of the new uh, products? Will they be SUVs, hatchbacks, uh, sedans uh, for the next, let's say, uh, three to four years? So then... Uh, Today, I cannot tell too much details, but again, uh, towards 2030, we will bring uh, another four SUV, uh, including Elevate, five, SUV, five SUV we will bring. And uh, of course, time by time, we consider which model to be fit in this market. Then maybe we, we have another uh, possibility to introduce, but I cannot tell today. Right. I, I'm sure you're very tight-lipped about that. Uh, but uh, if I can then also check with you, maybe will we see some of the brands that uh, were there, like the CRV, which also did very well? Mm -hmm. uh, could we possibly see brands re-entering uh, back into the portfolio? Uh, that one also very good questions, but uh, not now. Uh, right. When the time comes, I will explain. Yeah. Right. Uh, and the last question, I know you're really pressed for time uh, today, but uh, you have on, uh, on the Elevate the ADAS suite, what you call the Honda Sensing, yes. and you'll have recently introduced it on the city. How has been the response to ADAS uh, as, a, as a feature? Like how many customers are opting for that in the city? And, and are you confident that they will, uh, you know, want it in the Elevate? Yes. Um, actually, I can say Honda Sensing is very much appreciated by customer and the people who use Satisfied. And when we launched the city MMC on the March, after that, 90% of the sales covered by uh, Honda Sensing. So then uh, we have a confidence and the direction is more on the safety side in the future. So we will have the ADAS on the, uh, the elevator as well. So we are expecting uh, customer will select more on the uh, safety feature, uh, which means Honda Sensing. Yeah.
Right. So uh, you're confident about that. And uh, well, on that note, uh, let's wish you all the best. And uh, we much. hope to see you again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.